Hello and welcome to Vacations by Tiffany. I'm your go-to travel agent giving you tips and information about cruises, Disney, and more. In this episode, I'm showing you around Adventureland in Magic Kingdom at Walt Disney World. There's a lot to see and do in Adventureland, but first let's start with some of the more off the beaten path things to do, like the Pirate's Adventure Treasure of the Seven Seas Scavenger Hunt. You get a map and look for clues all around Adventureland in search for a hidden treasure. It's very fun and interactive, and there's no age limit. There's also no time limit, so if you're into scavenger hunts, I highly recommend checking this out. Another fun off the beaten path thing to do in Adventureland is the Swiss Family Treehouse. Climb through the branches of a huge banyan tree as you see how the shipwrecked family lived from the classic movie, Swiss Family Robinson. The only way up or down is by stairs, so keep that in mind, but there's usually no wait and you can certainly go at your own pace. And when you reach the top, there's a beautiful view of the rest of the Magic Kingdom. You can really take your time and read each of the plaques about the story of the Swiss Family Robinson. I put together an episode of the whole real-time walkthrough right here on my channel. So check it out if you want to see more of the Swiss Family Treehouse. There's lots of food and snacks in Adventureland like this Sunshine Tree Terrace, where you'll find snacks like pot stickers and ice cream. This is Aloha Isle, where you can get the famous Dole Whip. There's also the quick service restaurant, Tortuga Tavern, and the table service restaurant, Skipper Canteen. I ate here a while ago and I really enjoyed it. It's very popular, so I recommend making a reservation. If you happen to be visiting on a hot day, which is most of the year in Florida, there's this nice area with tropical tiki spraying a fine mist into the air to help you cool down. There's also lots of water drinking fountains around Magic Kingdom to refill your water bottles. Now let's head to some of the rides and attractions, starting with the Pirates of the Caribbean. There's no height restrictions for this ride, and since they updated it with the characters from the new movies, it's pretty fun for kids of all ages. You can get in the regular standby line, or if you purchase Disney Genie Plus, you can reserve a time for the Lightning Lane. Personally, I don't mind waiting because the entire queue is inside. So here's a travel agent tip for times when it's hot, Try to get the Lightning Lane for Jungle Cruise, which has their queue all outside. Speaking of the Jungle Cruise, let's head over there. Recently refurbished, the new Jungle Cruise takes you on a comedic ride around all of the rivers of the world. It's a lot of fun and there's no height restrictions. The line was about 80 minutes or so on this day, and I didn't purchase Disney Genie Plus, so I decided to skip the Jungle Cruise and head over to Walt Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room. This is another classic ride that has been through several refurbishments and has now returned to the classic song with the singing birds and plants. The previous version had Zazu and Iago from The Lion King and Aladdin. This is another attraction in Adventureland with no height requirement and is pretty family friendly. Mm -hmm. 
As you exit the Enchanted Tiki Room, or actually as you enter, you can't miss the magic carpets of Aladdin. As you can see, this ride spins similar to Dumbo. So if you're prone to motion sickness, you may wanna sit this one out. But if not, it usually has a short wait or you can reserve it with your Disney Genie Plus. And it also has no height requirements. All right, now for the shopping. There's a few merchandise carts around Adventureland featuring pins and Mickey ears. But over by the Pirates of the Caribbean ride is where you'll find the main shopping area for now in Adventureland. Here you'll find lots of t-shirts, pirate hats, picture frames, and autograph books. You'll also find things like ornaments and decorations for your house, as well as shot glasses, cups, coffee mugs, and other drinkware and kitchen items. You'll find more t-shirts, and of course a Pirates of the Caribbean lounge fly backpack, here was a really neat bag in the shape of Miguel's guitar from the movie Coco. And here are some Mickey ears that you could actually get embroidered with your name on the back. And the classic pirate accessory, a swashbuckling sword. Well, thank you very much for watching. Please consider subscribing to my channel and follow me on Instagram for more pictures and stories. You can visit vacationsbytiffany.com to contact me and we can start planning your Disney World vacation. See you next time.